Hey there folks, you're watching the Main Man Channel. How's everyone doing? I hope everyone's doing just fine out there. You're watching the Main Man Channel. It's not just a name, it's a way of life. You've got to improvise, adapt, and overcome each and every day just to make it in this whole world. So, announcement video. I have received my KCI USA package that they said everyone sent me. KCI USA, reach out to me, like one of my videos that I actually reviewed some KCI magazines in, and they offered to send me some magazines to review. And uh, they sent me the package. The package has been opened once, just because I wanted to make sure everything in there was good. It was packed well, everything I received was in good condition, and they sent me some nice, nice stuff, okay? So, I got my assistant here. I don't know if he's gonna be assisting or hinders, but a little bit. I'll show you what we got. Okay, so that being said, first of all, y'all have seen one of these before on the channel because I personally bought one. It is the compatible with Glock 9mm 33 round magazine, and then there's their website www.kcus.com. And it's the Gen 2 magazine, but uh, I don't know if that means for Gen 2 Glock or what. But, it works in all Glocks. It works in my Glock 19 Gen 5 just fine. And, uh, we have ran the one that I purchased. And we have ran about four loads through it. So, it has done well. This one, we will be testing extensively. Giving it a little bit of torture and seeing how it holds up. And we will do a good full length video or maybe a couple on this. And uh, I'm actually going to, on all these magazines, you know, I'm going to eject them, let them hit the table, let them hit some concrete, uh, throw them around the yard a little bit. I'm not going to dip them in the pool. I'm not going to dip them in water or mud or anything like that extensive. But just basic wear and tear that they're going to get by uh, changing magazines, being carried around, stuff like that, that's what I'm going to su subject them to. And uh, I believe these magazines are going to hold up well and they're going to do just fine. Uh, they've got follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. So actually, I need to check all those out. Anyways, all right. So they also sent me a couple of patches. They sent me a small KCI USA patch and they sent me a big one. So, what I've got planned is I'm going to purchase some kind of jacket and these patches I get, I'm gonna start connecting them to them. So that's gonna be pretty cool. All right, let's see what else KCI sent. Well, they sent me the uh, 17 round Glock magazine. I actually own some of these and they ran flawlessly. There's their website again, uh, their logo. And again, it says Gen 2 on that, but it says quality and innovation you can trust. I believe that wholeheartedly so far, okay? And uh, this has been doing very well, the ones that I own. So we will be giving this a little bit of torture testing, just like the 33 rounder, and see how it does. And what's pretty cool about that, they also sent me, which I own some of those as well, they also sent me the uh, Glock 15 round magazine. And uh, I own some of these as well, and they run just fine. So, not only am I going to shoot these a bunch, I do a little bit of torture testing, throwing them around, stuff like that, you know, just basic stuff, basic wear and tear. You know, dropping them on the table. You know, stuff like that. See how they hold up? Well, that can held up just fine. That did. These two magazines, after I shoot them some, I'm going to switch my two factory Glock carry mags out, and I'm going to carry these. So I'll be carrying the 17-round mag, and I'll be carrying the 15-round mag from KCI. So I'm going to carry those around quite a while and give you updates on them, let them know if they're holding up in my pockets or whatever, and I believe they're going to hold up just fine, guys. I mean, honestly, 
I think they will, but we're going to do world, real world testing on this, and we're going to see how they do. All right, so, now I love this. They were nice to me. They were real nice to me. So, y'all know I got a Taurus PT 1911. Well, and uh, when they initially reached out to me, I let them know what firearms I had. That way they might just send me some magazines that I could actually use. I was kind of maybe afraid they'd send me some, you know, a lot of the bigger style magazines for uh, for a lot of the AR platform stuff, which I don't really have access to. I do have access to the AR, my brother-in-law's, but I was real worried about getting some of that kind of stuff. But they sent, they sent me for two of the main guns I got, the Glock 19 Gen 5 and the Taurus PT-1911. So, that being said, they sent me a seven-rounder. That one's already open, so we'll just take it out of the pack. They sent me a seven-rounder. Oops, if I don't drop it. 1911 magazine. And I've owned several, I own three of the eight rounds that I purchased. And they run just fine. I'm sure this seven-rounder will run just fine as well. I like that metal follower. You know, so that's cool, and I think it'll hold up just fine. I mean, we'll give it plenty of good real world testing and durability. Oh, that's a pretty hard drop. That's about a basic drop you're going to get when you eject the magazine from the gun. It looks just fine, so that's cool. All right, now like I say, I ain't going to do mud, stuff like that, crazy stuff, because in real life, you know, just going back and forth to the range and, uh, actually using it for self-defense situation they're not going to be subject to that i'm on the subject range use and carry use that's what's going to be tested on this magazine all right they also sent me the eight rounder the 1911 eight rounder which i own three of those actually i bought but this is one they sent me in the package so this guy's going to get beaten you know he's really going to get a shot a lot of shooting through him we're going to beat him up and uh See how he does, and uh, hopefully he'll do just fine. Let's see how he does when he hits the table. Well, he didn't fly apart. You know, I've heard a lot of guys giving me a lot of heck on the Facebook groups and stuff that I'm a part of, saying, oh, them KCIs, he dropped the mag hard. They'll, they'll fly apart. The spring will fly this way. I have not found anything to suggest that in all my use of these things. These things are built well and they're not flying apart. We'll drop it again. We'll drop it from here. I don't even see a scratch on it and it didn't fly apart. Hmm. That seems to be working just fine. All right. So now this is one of the most favorite things that they have sent me, okay? They sent me one of their, uh, look at this bad boy. They sent me one of their 15 round 1911 magazines. Of course, it's got that nice metal follower. And it feels all metal, feels good shape, looks good. I believe it'll function just fine. It, it being a single stack 15 round, I mean, I'd say everyone's got a little bit of worry about it jamming, but I think it's going to do just fine. And that's going to look neat coming out of my Taurus PT-1911 at the range, and uh, that's going to be cool. Okay? And let's give it a drop. Now that one hits pretty hard because it's heavy. And you can hear the spring rattling when you dropped it, but it didn't fly apart. Drop it one more time. Well, that right there, that's just an initial test, you know, to see if they were built well. That's not all the testing we're going to do to it. We're going to run a bunch of rounds through them. We're going to let them hit concrete. You know, we're going to do everything we can to test these magazines out with, with the exception of mud or something like that. I'm not going to do that. Uh, I don't see a reason to do that. But we're going to run them, we're going to drop them, we're going to kick them around, we're going to throw them around, carry them in our pocket, carry them in the backpack, throw it around. 
range bag, all that good stuff. And see how they hold up. And uh, actually, I'll probably go ahead and take them out of these pretty packaging they got them in, which is how I would probably store them when I'm not using them, keep them in good shape. But uh, since we're testing these, I'm going to take them all out, carry them around, shake them in a box. You know, I'm gonna put them through. I'm gonna put them through their paces. Okay, see how they hold up. See how the finishes hold up on them. All that good stuff. And uh, one thing about the Glock mags that I've always liked on that is you see right here. A lot of the uh, aftermarket Glock mags don't have this. Don't have that metal right there. I like that. I think that's a really good feature. I think that's really gonna hold these mags up well. Uh, I appreciate them sending me this package. Uh, thank you, KCI. Uh, and uh, Mary Baker Baker, that's who uh, who reached out to me. That's her, her Facebook name. And uh, she she's the one that reached out to me. Uh, I'm going to go back and like y'all on all y'all's social media and uh, everything. And I'm going to do y'all good reviews on these magazines. And I'm going to post uh, the links up. I'm going to email y'all the links so you can see them. And folks, I hope you, all my subscribers and viewers out there, I hope you get a kick out of these tests that we're going to do. And I hope you like them. And I hope you will check out KCI USA Magazines for your aftermarket magazine needs. Okay? Just because it's aftermarket don't mean it's built, not built well. Don't mean it won't function. Okay? It just means it's going to save you a little bit of money. And also... I am trying to only buy firearms now that's got a lot of aftermarket support. The reason for that is you got a lot of versatility with those. So Glock 19 Gen 5, uh, yeah, of course, you can get magazine in any brand you can think of just about. Uh, as far as aftermarket mags, you got a wide support out there. KCI is probably about the cheapest, most affordable ones out there, and they're some of the best, so that's why I've been trying them out and uh, everything and uh, it's just by chance you know that I bought some of those and they, they function fine and and I like uh, also you know you 1911s well everybody's making magazines for you 1911s so that helps you out but these KCI ones they worth every penny that, they, that you pay for them so far and uh, we're going to test all these magazines out. So, again, we're going to go back over what we got. We got the Glock 33 rounder. We got the 1911 15 rounder. The 1911 uh, 8 rounder. The 1911 7 rounder. And the Glock uh, 15 rounder, the Glock 17 rounder. You will see videos on each of them. I might even combine some videos together. And uh, we're just going to have fun with these and we're going to shoot the crap out of them and we're going to review them and see how they hold up and we're going to bang them around. But anyway, I want to thank y'all for watching the Main Man channel. Please like, share, and subscribe. You're watching the Main Man channel. It's not just the name, it's a way of life. You've got to improvise, adapt, and overcome each and every day, okay? And uh, appreciate y'all watching. Catch you next time. Thank you.